Come on, Rachel, we need to get home. Oh. Excuse me. You just hit me. No, I didn't. I'm minding my own business here. I don't think so. What are you doing here? Preying on unsuspecting shoppers? <laughs> no, I'm just here for groceries, just like you are. Why don't you go shopping somewhere else with your own kind? What? You're not my kind? I don't think so. And I'm not giving you any money. I don't want your money. I'm just here for food. If you want food, fine. Take it! Okay. Have a nice day. Mom? Who was that guy? He's a bum. You need to stay away from people like that. Really? Why is that? Because bad things happen when those people are around. Well, instead of bad things, I thought of something good you could do for me. And what is that? Taylor, you know who she is, just announced new tour dates. Can you buy two tickets for me, please? Tickets? How much are they? Ticket Giant has them, and they're only $2,000. $2,000 for two tickets? No, that's each, and that's a deal. You've already seen her twice. But she may never do concerts again, if she marries that football guy. The answer is no. If you want tickets, you can save up the money yourself. But they'll be gone by then. Stop quibbling. We have to go pay. Ugh. Look out, Mom. Here comes that homeless guy again. What? Hate to bother you, ma'am. Have you seen a loose dog around? You brought a dog into the store? I can't leave him outside by himself. Besides, he's my emotional support animal. I haven't seen him. How can you feed a dog when you can't even afford to feed yourself? I manage. Well, maybe you can manage to find him then. That will be $63.85. Where's my wallet? It's gone! Mom, that homeless guy, he must have taken it. Someone in the store took your wallet? It looks that way. There was a disheveled man over there that knocked me over. Really? Can you describe him? I sure can. He was an older man with a beard and a scratchy voice. And he's taking food. Let me get the manager and see what I can do. Hey, you! Stop right there! Can I help you? You're the man that took that woman's wallet! I didn't take no wallet. I suppose you didn't take that open food in your cart either. Oh, this? I was going to pay for it. I was just hungry. I don't believe you. Tell it to the officer when he gets here. What do you mean? I'm taking you to the security office. But what about my dog? The dog can take care of himself. What am I supposed to do now? You know what? Don't worry about it. I'll pay for your food. I can't let you do that. Wow. You can pay me back when they find your purse. That's so sweet of you. They won't find it. He probably threw it away in the trash. Don't worry. I'll make sure they look there too. This is Officer Clayton. He'll be handling your case. I'm a case? Yeah, 
It's really a shame what's happened here. You're telling me? I'm the one who's locked up back here, and I didn't do nothing. If you hadn't run afoul of the authorities, you'd be the perfect person for our community outreach program. What is that? It helps people like you with food and a place to stay. Including my dog? Yes, you and your dog. But not if you insist upon taking people's wallets. I'm telling you, man, I didn't do anything. That's what they all say. Look what we found in the trash. I think it's her wallet. Good. Did you look inside to see if there's anything left? Yeah. It looks like everything's here. Driver's license, money, Couple of cards. Let me see that. Why would you take this and not the money? Because like I told you, I didn't take it. Maybe not, but we need to find out what happened. Officer Clayton, did you find my wallet? Yes, and it still has $83 in it. Really? Sounds like it's all still there. Well, if it is, perhaps we can set him free. But I'm still going to need you to come down to the station to identify it. All right. I'll see you soon. Well, Rachel, looks like you were right. Oh, really, Mom? <laughs> Why is that? They found my wallet in the trash. Uh, uh, I knew he would throw it away. Yeah, but the weird thing is, is that he didn't take any money. Well, who knows why somebody like that would do it? Thanks for coming in. Based on the ID, this is definitely yours. Okay. There's my ID, my membership card, my cash. Wait a minute, where's my visa? Are you telling me your credit card is missing? Yeah, my credit card's not here. Looks like our man is guilty after all. Is there anything you can do about it? Okay, we know you took her credit card. What'd I do with that? Why don't you just tell us? It'll go easy on you. There's nothing to tell. Hey, Brady. Ferguson back there said he had nothing to do with the credit card. He doesn't seem like the credit card scammer type to me. If I give you her credentials, do you think you could track down that card? In fact, I already have it right here. Let me know what you find. I should be able to look up any activity and track any questionable transactions. It should be pretty easy to finger a scammer, especially if they're local. So there's nothing you can do? Oh, yes, there is. Brady here is a master at catching these guys. Here it is. It's at Ticket Giant, $4,146 and change. And that's after it was reported taken. Ticket Giant? Does that mean anything to you? Ugh. Next, I can look up the IP information. We can track it down pretty easy because it was concert tickets. Is that right? Looks like we got our man. Good thing we didn't let Ferguson go. Like I told you, he's not the type. I think somebody else did it. He doesn't look like the type that would buy concert tickets. I've worked these kind of cases a ton of times. He's not our guy. You're probably right, but I can't let him go until we clear him. Okay, let me know if there's anything you need from me. Well, Rachel, that certainly was enlightening. Must have gone well. I see you have your wallet back. That's right, except my credit card. I guess that's not so bad. Except they want to lock up whoever took my card. Oh, that man? No, they mean you. They know you used it for concert tickets. What? What makes you think that? I was desperate, okay? You wanna buy them for me? You'd rather get that man locked up so you can go to a concert. 
I never would have done it if I thought I was going to get in trouble. Well, here comes your dad. I wonder what he has to say. You're in big trouble, young lady. The only reason I threw the wallet away was because I knew Mom would blame the homeless guy. I don't know what we should do. Well, we can't let him rot behind bars. And sooner or later, they're going to find out it was Rachel. I'm going to go down to that station and try and figure things out. I want to let you know we worked it out here with Officer Clayton. For your information, we let Mr. Ferguson go. And we're not going to charge Rachel, but only if she does a year of community service. Rachel, that's good news. Do I have to do that? No. We can leave it up to the judge instead. Good. Because you'll be reporting to our new community outreach director. And here he is, right now. Hello, I'm Ronald Ferguson. You're the community outreach director? That's right. They just hired me. You know what? They couldn't have picked a better person. You're right, Mom. Rachel took her mom's wallet and wanted the homeless man to get blamed for it. What she didn't expect was to get caught. Did she learn her lesson or was the punishment too soft? Let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, help us make more by sharing.